the Civil War Guru Show. My name is Steve Munson and I am the Civil War Guru. And today we're going to talk about something that I really haven't touched on in the Guru series. It's Confederate Veterans Uniforms. And what we have here is a uniform from a gentleman from Kentucky and we're going to talk about him in a second. But anyway, the United Confederate Veterans were formed in the 1880s and they ran until the last Confederate died. And of course there were sons to Confederate Veterans. These organizations were big. They were like the American Legions and the VFWs. And they had a lot of political power. And anyway, this gentleman here joined into the organization after the war. And they, like I say, they were a prominent businessman down to, to the actual farmer and the carpenter and et cetera. And then from the uniforms, the uniforms originally in the 1880s started out looking like the original Confederate uniforms. And value-wise, some of them things that you know knock pretty good up in value up to you know six eight thousand dollars. But as the time went by and the guys got older and the uniforms changed to more of a, a sport coat or a, a heavier shirt looking thing, and that's what this is. This particular one we're going to look at today. And these were sold in the back of the Confederate veterans uniform or magazines. They had uniform advertisements. And they were sold in Cincinnati and in Louisville and in all Paducah and all major towns. And you could buy it and they'd go and size you up. But these normally had uh, the state uh, buttons on it, as this one does. It has the Tennessee state buttons on it. But I'm going to get up here. My grandson's not take, working the camera. I got my friend Kenny Rogers running the camera today. And we're going to get up and get close on this thing. But these things are important, they're highly collectible. Now this guy has three badges on him. He has his Southern Cross, with his name on it, was presented to him. And he has a General Nathaniel Bedford Forrest Cavalry Badge, which during the war he rode, and we'll talk about that here in a minute, with General Forrest. And those are really highly collectible, along with the, uh, the Southern Cross. And then where they had a joint meeting of the Unions and the Confederates, they also gave him ribbons. And then we'll be looking at some of the ribbons that he acquired at different meetings from the turn of the century until his last week. I think he died in 1925, 26. And uh, so we'll look at some of them ribbons. All these are highly collectible. All of them have uh, uh, an intrinsic value. And, uh, and we'll talk about them as we photograph it uh, or film it. And like I said, I don't have my grandson to do all the magic stuff with the cameras. But the most important thing is, is you get to see this, and this does have the original pants with it. And like I say, these were sold in, in the back of these magazines, and you could buy them. And, and then Louisville used to go down at Levy Brothers used to sell them down on Third and Market, or Third and Main, and you could buy one of these uniforms. But they were great organizations. The Union had their great organizations, the GAR and the, and the United Confederate Veterans had there. They did a lot of social work. They did a lot of help for the poor and the indigents and, and all kinds of, of rebuilding the states and helping veterans and veteran causes. And we'll get talking about value on this particular, uh, I'm going to give a value of it with all the, the ribbons and the, et cetera, so you kind of have an idea what they're worth. This particular coat here, with the, without the ribbons on it, would bring in a $1,500 to $2,000 range because it's ID. It has the quadrifold on the sleeves and has the Tennessee state buttons and has his rank on his collar. And then the, the Southern Cross that is presented to him, and it's engraved on it. We'll get up close where you can see his name on it. Mr. Croft, William Croft. And, uh, and then the, the Nathaniel Bedford Forrest medal, probably the most expensive one. The, the Bedford uh, uh, medal will bring 1,200. This is ID to him. And these things were, this particular medal was made in Wisconsin. Uh, the Southern Cross will bring 400 to 1,000, sometimes 1,500 dollars, and then uh, the other ribbon is is about 100, 150 dollars, and that's a joint encampment with the Union and the, the, the Confederate veterans together that encampment. And then the single uh, silk ribbons, and, and there's I think there's about six six or eight of them, and they'll bring uh, 50 to 75 dollars a piece because some of them are rare. That's here, and uh, and this particular guy, he was I'll give you a little bow on him here. He was from Fulton, Kentucky, and that's on the Tennessee border, and that's far western Kentucky. And he first joined in uh, uh, 62 at 19 years old, and, and he became sergeant of the 31st Tennessee Infantry. 
and he fought in all the major battles. And uh, I've got his uh, family. We got this from uh, said the folklore was that he was wounded at Cello. But he fought all the major battles with the 31st Infantry. And we have the, the post-war ribbons of the 31st Infantry. Then in 64, uh, he went home on furlough and got caught and couldn't get back with his regiment. So he ended up joining uh, Nathaniel Bedford Forrest, General Forrest, with the 12th Kentucky Cavalry. And he was at Bryce's Crossroads. And, uh, and he surrendered with uh, uh, Forrest at the end of the war. So he rode with Forrest from 64 until they surrendered in 65. Anyway, this guy had this guy also was a uh, vice president of a bank, and he was prominent in his community of Fulton, Kentucky, and I, I, that's I believe south of uh, uh, Paducah, and uh, and most of the guys in that particular county went south, and uh, Western Kentucky, a lot of Western Kentucky uh, guys went south. But anyway, so he is you know uh, uh, town hero, and he like I say he lived up until the the nine, I think in 1925 or 26. So we got a, we'll show a picture of his head. So and then the final thing is, is he was uh, uh, the commander of their post, and you'll see the post number on there. And uh, we have their flag, which is unfortunately it's it's uh, disintegrating. But this was the United Confederate Veteran flags that did display at their meetings, and so that's also with this grouping. So from the Civil War guru, enjoy the uniform, enjoy all the information that you get to see here. And remember, if you have something that you want to praise, we appraise it free. There's no charge. You send us photographs, and we'll give you a value of it and, and try to steer you in the right direction. And if you have something you want to sell, we can also uh, help you with that. We, we know just about everybody out there that's buying any particular type of uh, uh, artifact. And also, too, don't forget, we, we've full with the classic cars and airplanes, World War II airplanes, five planes. And, and the old Corvettes and, and, you know, anything from a Duesenberg to a Model, Model T. So from the Civil War Guru, have a great day.